Hi everyone, Gleb Bakhmedov here and today I want to talk about this problem that happens for some users and it's really tough to debug, especially if the code where it happens is private. Here's this issue saying a visible element being deemed not visible. Here's a test, it's a public site, you can see it yourself. If you go to that site, it shows a video player and then says Cypress is amazing. That's what we're trying to assert. And yet the test fails saying that that element is not visible, even though we can see it in a screenshot. I have this test running right here and it does fail the same way. So five seconds for everything to load. Uh, Cypress is amazing. You can see that it actually finds the element Right, that's why it's a, you know it shows this little icon. It highlights the element and yet says it's not visible because it's covered by another element. And so the reason it's covered is unclear because Cypress has a lot of logic inside its visibility check, and yet here it obviously fails. So one thing that you might want to do is right away go into Cypress and try running this test in different browsers and see that maybe there is a difference in visibility check depending on the browser. I checked here, all browsers fail, so it's not cross-browser issue, it's just the logic inside Cypress that's wrong, obviously, for this particular element. So one thing that comes to mind right here is looking at our API, so under the hood, Cypress uses cypress.dom is visible function to determine if an element is visible or not. Unfortunately, if we try to call that function ourselves uh, or like do it from the test, it's not really working. So let me explain. So I have the top level context, right? That's my uh, browser. My application is running in this iframe. So if I go to that iframe context, I can find this function that is visible. Is visible. Right, like I can see this function. But unfortunately, if I try to debug it, right, using DevTools debug function and rerun the test, well, that doesn't work. And I'll explain why it doesn't work. It's because, well, we load the whole new iframe, okay? So our function is never hit. We can try one thing that's, that could work. We can put, put a pause right here. Oh, I have to remove semicolon. So I put a Cypress pause command. So right here, we are paused, we can try doing the same thing in my app. I'll just call the last command and then I'll click resume. And now we hit the Cypress function, right? So the L element is the real element. As you can see, it's actually highlighted here, right? And now we can step through this function, right? Maybe it's not an element, it is an element. We're wrapping it. Is it body or HTML? No. Is it an option? Because very specific uh, logic for checking options and so on. Okay. Is it maybe has no effective way? No. And so we can, like in this problem, or uh, in this case, I, I have no idea what the problem is, but I can step through this and see where Cypress logic is wrong. And as you can see, it actually retries and retries and retries and retries. Um, so I think I can say on uh, debug and let it pass, I believe. Okay, so that's how you can continue. So that's one way. So put a pause and say debug and then Cypress DOM is visible, but make sure you do it inside the iframe where the application is running. Another thing that you might be able to do if you don't want to use pause, right? Maybe you want to check the element like right at the beginning and so on. You might 
be able to still do it by doing the following. So once the test is finished, right, and it fails, well, you can um, look at the elements, right, and let me just open and close it again. You can at look at the elements. So I can see that we have top level video and uh, it contains its stuff. Then we have all our elements. This seems like where the text is positioned. Yeah. And this is the element that we're trying to check visibility for. So what I can do, because this is a real element, I can access the last selected element using dollar zero and then it's the real element. So what we can do now, we can put the same debug, Cypress DOM is visible, all right? And then we can call it ourselves, Cypress DOM is visible, and just use dollar zero, which refers to the currently selected element. When we click it, we hit it. And then we can step through this, all right? And we can go, through this element step by step again using this going through the Cypress logic to see why the element is not um, visible. And as you can see, we can even see whether it runs false. And one other thing, we can go up and we can say, well, uh, which element is covering it? Is this this video? And we can delete it, go back to our element and call the same function again and well we don't want to debug this anymore true so now cypress logic return true so something about the element that we just deleted and we can actually put it back by using control z right so once we're here and we call this method right uh it still is true oh I have to make sure I'm at the right element and not at a video element. Okay, it's false. So something about this particular element, right, that covers the whole thing, uh, breaks visibility check, even though this is visible. Okay, so this is how you debug your own visibility issues if you cannot provide fully reproducible example to the Cypress team.